Welcome to the UChem tutorial on nomenclature by example, acids. In this video what we'll do is we'll explore the different types of acids and how they are named. Alright, so let's begin with the definition of acids. These are species that release hydrogen ions into solution when they're dissolved in water. So an example of this would be hydrochloric acid. When that goes into solution, that hydrogen dissociates from the chlorine that's there to form a chloride ion. And so what we see with acids is in general these are molecular compounds that have a hydrogen that's attached to some nonmetals. And that can be one nonmetal or many nonmetals. That leaves us with our two main definitions, all right, of acid. So we're looking at a hydrogen plus a nonmetal or metals, and so that will give us our two main types. We have a binary acid and then a oxo acid and this is the these are the two types of acids that we can form the first is the binary acid and that is a hydrogen plus one nonmetal only so you can easily identify those they're just two pieces two elements together if you have a oxo acid you have a hydrogen plus what's called an oxo anion or an oxy anion sometimes named what this is is a group of nonmetals that together have an overall charge and then if you add a hydrogen ion to that or as many as you need to make the charge neutral that'll form your oxo acid so here are some examples if I have HBr, hydrobromic acid, or above, if I had hydrochloric acid, those are both binary acids, just two elements together, hydrogen and another element. An oxo acid, a very common example of that, is sulfuric acid, or H2SO4. And so the SO4 is the oxo anion, and it has two hydrogens associated with it, making it that oxo acid. All right, so let's look at naming these two types of acids, because if you heard me say them, hydrobromic acid and sulfuric acid, the names of these sound a little bit different, or it looks like there might be a little bit different naming that goes with each. So let's start with binary acids. And HCl is our first, so let's look at that name, hydrochloric acid. So there are two pieces, hydro, that stands for the hydrogen, and chloric, which stands for the chlorine. Here's another one. That's hydroiodic acid, H-I. Again, hydro and iodic. So we have a hydro that stands for the hydrogen and the iodic that stands for the other component there. Okay. Now let's look at oxoacids. This is nitric acid. Nitric acid has the formula HNO3, so let's identify the two pieces. We have the hydrogen, and then I have an NO3, and that's nitrate. That would be the name of the polyatomic ion with the formula NO3. All right, And since it's a polyatomic ion, what I'm looking at is a polyatomic ion with a negative one charge here. That's going to give me my nitrate. Now let's take a look at how that name goes together with the name of the polyatomic ion. The 8 on nitrate, that ion, is changed to ick. All right, so in naming of oxo acids, you change the 8 to ick. So I think of it as, oh, I eat a very acidic food, something very sour. I go, and I ate it, and I go, ick. And so if you think about that when you're naming acids, you always look at the hydrogen and then the other piece, so in this case the hydrogen and then nitrate, and then if the ending on the polyatomic ion is 8, you change it to ick. So this is nitric acid. Okay, here's another one. That's HNO2. NO2 has a different name than NO3. Okay, this is nitrous acid, so let's dissect that. We're looking at NO2 and then how that associates with the name nitrous. So NO2, that ion there, is going to have the name nitrite. So nitrite, if you have an ite on the end, it changes to us. Okay, so that's how I got from nitrite, that second component of the acid, to the us. Okay, so look at the name of the polyatomic ion. The name of that ion is nitrite, and then I change the ite to us. So that's going to give us from nitrite to nitrous, and then we just add the acid on the end. All right, so now we've looked at the two main types of acids. Let's do some more examples. 
So here are some examples. What I would do is go ahead and pause your recording and work on these on your own and then I'm going to keep on going and if you just press play then you'll be able to see the answers. All right, so the first one is sulfuric acid. How did I know that? Well, what I did was I look at that H2, that's my hydrogen part, and then my SO4 is the component that comes from the polyatomic ion sulfate. All right, then I change the 8 to ic. So with the sulfur-containing compounds, these are the ones that are a little bit iffy sometimes. Remember that with this particular compound, you're going to go sulfuric. And so this has the S-U-L-F, and then sulfic acid sounds weird. So with sulfuric acid, we just add that U-R in order to smooth out that name. So this is a little wrinkle on the naming of this one. That's why I included it here. So you cross off the eight, you bring down the ulf, sulf part, and then the uric is what you're adding on for this particular acid. So H2SO4, sulfuric acid. The next one is hydrosulfuric acid. Okay, so you're looking at the binary compound. We're looking at hydrogen and then another element. So that gives me that hydro. And then you add the sulfuric acid on the end of it. Okay. The next one is also a binary acid. This is hydrobromic acid. Okay. And then the one following that has the hydrogen and then the ClO4. And that ClO4 compound is the polyatomic ion perchlorate. And perchlorate, we're going to have change 8 to ic, so we're going to have perchloric acid. All right, let's go from name to formula now so that you can go in reverse. Iodous acid, bromic acid, phosphoric acid, and hydrofluoric acid. So go ahead and take a look at these names and try to match a formula to them. So again, iodous, we're going to go from us to ite this time. So what we're going to do is try to find the polyatomic ion iodite, and that's IO2, okay? And then we're going to take that and we're going to match it with one hydrogen ion to neutralize that one negative charge. So HIO2 is going to be iodous acid. Now, bromic acid. So I have to go from ic to eight. Okay, so we go to bromic to bromate. That's the polyatomic ion I'm matching with hydrogen. And I have to make sure that I add enough hydrogen so that we end up with a neutral charge. So in this case, I just add one. So that's going to be HBrO3. The next one, phosphoric acid. All right, remember ic to eight, so phosphate. I look for the polyatomic ion that is phosphate and that's PO4 with a negative three charge. That means I have to add three hydrogens to give me a neutral compound. That's H3PO4 is phosphoric acid. Now the next, the last one, hydrofluoric acid. This is one of those binary acids that clues me off with the hydro in the middle. So that means I just need an H plus whatever element stands is stood for by fluoric. So we're going to look at HF and that's hydrofluoric acid. So with this video, we've shown you how to name acids mostly by example, these two types, the binary acid and the oxo acid. 